Hey, this is Kevin Bees and Jody Bees and Vasara Bees. Uh, today we are doing tip number 33, I think 133. And we are talking today about how to get a great testimonial. Okay, so when you've done a great service for your clients and they want to say great things about you. <coughs> Bless excuse you. Excuse me. Oh, how to get a great testimonial. Uh, now, there are some key elements to this. And the reason I have Jody here with me and Vasara with me is because I'm not only going to briefly talk you through what are the key elements that you need for a great testimonial, but we're also gonna make one up on the spot so you can see how quick and how easy it would be uh, and, and how you could feed your clients the questions so that they can leave you a great video testimonial. So what are the key elements? I think first and foremost, we need to get the person to state their name and who they are. They should state where they're from. Okay, this really helps con can create some rapport or some understanding about their background or the situation. And it's important for them to say who they are and what they do. So they can drop a bit of their credibility. So we know then that person on video is actually uh, someone who's maybe like the person who's gonna be watching the video or someone who has a, uh, you know, a background that they aspire to. And then we're gonna get them to name the product or service that they've experienced from you. Okay, so that they've had one-on-one -on -one coaching from you or that they've enjoyed your uh, workout routine or, or they've enjoyed your naturopathic services, whatever, whatever it is, whatever the program was. And then we want them to tell us what was the problem that they came to solve? What was the issue or the problem that they had that they came to resolve? And then what they learned from working with you that solved the problem? What was the insight or the wisdom that helped, uh, helped them overcome the problem? And then we want to get into the results. And two types of results that we want them to share with us. What was the measurable, measurable physical result? Did they transform their body? Did they transform their bank account? Did they have a brilliant makeover in their relationship? Did, did uh, hey, did uh, as a result of your program, they end up creating a beautiful baby? Like, who, who knows what it is, yeah. okay? And then also the emotional result. What was the emotional result of this as well? How did, how did they feel about it? Because like, really, emotions are what we're going for uh, in, in life and in business. When we buy a service, we want to experience an emotion, okay? Now, both of those results, if we can make them time-bound, if we could say, I got this result in this time frame, or I felt this emotion like this quickly, that will really help people realize that it didn't take years for them to achieve that working with you. It was weeks or months or however, however long it was. And then the final piece that we'd really like for them to share with us is... Uh, for them to give a bit of a capability reference to say something like, hey, I wholeheartedly recommend that you work with Kevin or I wholeheartedly recommend that you would work with Jody. That's the final piece of credibility piece. So uh, as an overview, their name, where are they from? What do they do? What is the product or service that they brought from you? What was the problem that they had when they came and met you? What did they learn from you that solved the problem? And then what was the result, result of that physically and emotionally? And then for them to say, hey, I wholeheartedly recommend. So hopefully that makes sense. That makes sense? Makes sense. Okay, so in which case, we're going to make one up here on the spot now. It literally has put me right on the spot, by the way. Uh, right on the spot. I just grabbed Jodie and said, we've got to do this. Uh, you can help me out with this. So uh, yeah, yeah. before you go on, before they go on camera, make sure that, you know, and they're going to leave it to me. Make sure they've done their hair. They've and they actually have no, washed their no hair. No chia seeds. No chia seeds. Come on, sweetie. That the so, daughter's dressed out of her pajamas. Yeah, so that, that's important. Thing. Make sure they're dressed a little bit more professionally, maybe uh, if they're setting a certain image for your clients. Uh, now, outside of that, making sure the physical appearance is good and the lighting is good, then uh, we're going to jump in and do this uh, video testimonial now. And, look, and hopefully it's good enough we can share it with the person um, that we want to do it for anyway. So uh, my name is Kevin Bees and it's my wife Jodie Bees. Hello. And it's our beautiful daughter, Vasara. And Vasara is now... Three and a half. 14, and 14 and a half weeks, three and a half months, something in that region. And we're originally from Sydney, Australia, but we currently live in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Now, uh, Jodie is a naturopath and a nutritionist, and I get the privilege of working with business owners to help them grow their businesses. Now, the service that we want to give a testimony for today is with a company called Mother Me, or uh, a lady called Marcia. Okay, and uh, at this point, and maybe I want to jump over and share, let, let Jodie share a little bit more around this, but um, Jodie, what was really the product or service, or what was really the uh, the problem that we had that we wanted to use Mother Me for? I guess, um, obviously, in my profession, I know a lot of doulas, 
And um, for me, having a doula this time around was essential given that we were living in Amsterdam and didn't speak Dutch. So our fantastic doula was able to interpret things during the moment during birth. Um, she also gave us education about the Dutch system and um, the medical system here and how the procedure will be like and um, just different scenarios. Um, and it was just, I guess, just someone to hold our hand during the process. I think first for Luella's birth was a little bit unexpected and a little bit different. Um, so I think we just didn't know what to expect with the Sarah at all. So it was just, I guess, just a vote of confidence knowing that we had someone there in our corner to help us and support us. Um, yeah, second time round. So I, I think for me as the, the father in this, the, the problem that I came to solve was that the first birth, birthing process, it was... Uh, for me, quite emotionally challenging, things didn't go as expected, and I wasn't sure what to be thinking or feeling going into this, this next delivery of our second child. And so I was a little bit nervous around it, particularly with the language barrier. We're in a country where we, we don't speak Dutch, and it's amazing, Dutch people are fantastic. They, a lot of them speak great English, they do. but sometimes when it comes to a medical setting, they may not necessarily be able to translate in and the heat of the fast. moment. To move yes, fast. Yeah. So I was really, the problem I came to resolve was really having some support, uh, particularly for Jodie first and foremost, but also for me to help work out well, when these things happen, what do I do? What should I be doing? How do I handle the situation? And I think we learned some great things in the process working with Marcia. I think for me, even in advance of the birthing process, yeah, she came around to see us uh, three or maybe four times. Yeah. She gave us exercises to do to make sure that Jody was in the best shape for delivery. Yep. She gave us breathing exercises. I yeah. think she even gave us some aromatherapy tips and recommendations. Uh, and, and so it, that really helped us uh, to be in the right frame of mind before we even got to the event. Now, in terms of the physical result, like what was what was the main result of this? Now, for me, Jodie can share with you her experience, but for me, I, I was wowed. Our first birthing process took 40 hours plus and ended up in a cesarean. And this time around, we actually ended up, uh, we left the house at 5 a.m., Thankfully, Marcia was here and was able to take us to the hospital because there were no taxis because there was a big dance festival going on. So the baby was coming and she came around and saved us and got us to the hospital. But the, the, the real big, um, the big thing for me was the time. We left here at 5 a.m. and we were home with our baby by 9 a.m. in our arms and everything was perfectly well. And I think that was the... Door to door service. Yeah, and, and I felt guided throughout the whole process when things weren't going as we expected or quicker than we expected and the hospital staff were maybe a little more panicky. Marcia really helped uh, keep keep us calm and understand what was going on and that there was nothing to be concerned about and this is what was happening. So we knew where we were in each step of the process. But of course, I, I'm talking here, but this is the, the wonderful lady who went through the whole process. What was the impact for you? I think it was, um, obviously, Sarah's entry into the world was a very, very different from Luella. So I think it was um, her helping us guide us to the hospital. It was a lot quicker than I expected. Um, so she literally helped me keep Lasara in until we got to the hospital coaching me the whole entire way which was phenomenal because I don't know how I would have done it without her help and then yeah there was a moment in the actual delivery process where um where Lasara was a little bit distressed nothing nothing to be concerned about but the, I guess the way that the medical staff react is that you know they they are in charge and they make sure that it's efficient and quick but that energy sort of jolted me out a bit and I got a little bit panicking myself thinking what's wrong with her and March was there putting some lavender on my legs telling me everything was okay because she understood exactly what was going on and what was spoken in Dutch so I think it was that level of um, reassurance that she was um, she had this she had us she had our backs and understood without that fully emotional experience and so that we could actually I could relax I could focus on pushing and um, yeah and I think, yeah, she's just a really good coach throughout the process. So I think she was someone that literally went above and beyond her service and duty. Like she got us to the hospital. We didn't, yeah, that obviously is not part of her role to get us to the hospital. <laughs> but we needed someone to get us to the hospital really quickly. Otherwise I would have had her at home. Um, and that was not the plan, unfortunately, given that my previous um, birth was a cesarean. And then, um, and then she literally dropped us home, didn't she? So There you go, door-to-door door -door service. So I, I think for me, I would highly recommend working with a doula and particularly uh, Marcia from Mother Me. She was fantastic from start to finish. We, baby arrived, it's beautiful, healthy. It was as quick and painless as you could expect it a situation divine. like this. No, it was divine. It was, it was divine. divine. And so we'd highly recommend it.
Thank you, okay. Matcha. So <laughs> now, as you get, that was uh, that was our example of a testimonial. Now, oh, you're nice. when you're taking this from your clients, uh, you're going to be helping guide them through the process. And if they waffle or go off point, like we maybe we may have done a little bit because <laughs> we were just you know making this up as an example, then you can help guide them. And of course. If you're going to share this, you're going to want to edit it at the end anyway, and you're probably going to want to edit in edit it into different uh, different sections. That there, we could take the whole piece, and I, I think we're talking for maybe three, four, five five minutes. That could be a longer testimonial that you may want to share with clients, or of course, you can cut it down and edit it into segments. You can have you know a short segment to just put up and say the the main benefit that someone got. You know, or you could have like slightly longer, depending on where you're going to show it. So, okay, I think that's how you get a great testimonial. I will put the comments um, of the steps here in the notes. So enjoy that. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, uh, good luck. Go ahead and go and grab yourself some great testimonials. Thank Bye. you so much. Love you, Tonya. <laughs>